Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I'm just going to do a quick tutorial, I guess, on how to orient bodies and parts for 3D printing to get the best performance out of it and get your best looking finish because, you know, these are beautiful files, especially the OBS ones. And not just because they're my files, they're just beautiful. All right, so first thing I do starting in before I went any further, I'd select supports on, I go over here, I'd select, now this is what I do, 20% on four walls, cause I'm printing ABS and PETG, that's just my method. Then I'd go down here, I'd select cubic or adaptive cubic. Guys, that's just what I do. And on support, I always check on build plate only. Then I'd move forward. So we're gonna start by doing it on the smaller build plate, because I get the most inquiries on that. Can this be printed on an X1C or a P1S or a P2S, whatever? Now they're a smaller build plate, but it doesn't matter because you can just cut it. So first thing I do, I go up to rotate in the top menu. This is in bamboo slicer, guys. And then I'd rotate that. So oh, I got a little wild there. I'd rotate it like that. Now you can look. You can see you can't print it like that. It's still too tall. That's the issue a lot of guys run into. Pretty simple fix, guys. Select your part. Go up to supports painting. Well, we'll do that after. Go up to supports painting after. We'll go to perform cut first, guys. Confusing you here. So go to perform cut. Then I go down here and I do it so it was just on the inside at the back. Uh, you select this yellow square to drag it up and down. I'd look here and I'd make sure it had lots of room along here. Because you want lots of meat there for it to hook kind of thing. And I'd let it just kind of load here because I guess that's what my computer is going to do. It's telling me that objects are overlaying the build plate. So I'd do that. I'd look that over. Like I said, it looks good. And I'd go ahead and add connectors. So you can see that add connectors is under perform cut. So I add connectors. I got this option here I use every time called plug. There's three types, plug, dowel, and snap. I use plug. All right, so then I go here and you're gonna to wanna to be real accurate here, guys. So uh, I'd select one here. I'd probably select one here. I'd probably put one right here by this crease just cause that's what I do. I definitely put one up top here somewhere in the middle. And you're going to want to make sure they're centered, guys, because if not, they'll cut an edge right out of your print. Um, that one, the last one isn't clean. It'll kind of light up. We're going to take that one away. We're going to go back and we're going to make sure it's centered. That one looks a little better. It doesn't matter. And this one. And then I go down the side and, again, put them in those three kind of spots along these here where there's going to be lots of force. This lets you have something to glue to when you push it in. Now... I'd go after that now that I've got them all selected. I'd select confirm connectors. All right, we got that. So we look it over. Everything looks like it's in place. We're going to go to perform cut. Now right here, it's going to ask you to fix the non-manifold edges. Now you're going to want to select yes and then just wait it out. It's going to take a while. But for the sake of video, I'm going to say no. Just because it'll be quicker for me to show you actually how to do it that part's pretty basic you can just select yes and wait all right so then you see the two pieces are there you got little dowels as you can see right there they're going to allow you to connect there's going to be holes in this side you can see where they're going to be now when this prints sometimes you got to clean those up especially if you use a brim edge all right so i take this part off the build plate i'd put this part over onto the build plate i'd make sure it was you know centered up decent and I'd take this part, put it back here. I'd probably move this one ahead a little bit, not too far because you don't want it into the extrusion area. And I'd put it here. Then I go up to my menu after selecting this part and press the rotate again, or you could select an arrow on your keyboard. Then I'd make sure this was completely straight up and down. All right, so I haven't got it there yet. A little bit more, probably right there somewhere. That'd be good enough for me. I'd assume, I always come down and kind of look at them from the side and see what I think. So then I'd select the part again, guys. I go to supports and I'd make sure my pen was pretty good size. I'd select overhangs only. That's what I do. And then I'd come along 
and you can paint them all but it's going to select most of these ones i just come along and paint these dowels right make sure they got painted so there's a little checker kind of mark on them all a little checkered mark and i just come along and get them all that's just what i do the other stuff will kind of work itself out now i go back here you're going to press your move to get you back here select outside anywheres then I'm going to go over to Others, over here, and I'm going to select Others, and I'm going to select, instead of Brim Type on Auto, I would select Outer and Inner Brim. That's just what I would do, especially if I'm printing an ABS. Now, if you want, you can come along and add like a little support there, there, maybe one here and here, and that'll strengthen it up. But for the sake of video... I'm just going to do it this way because I'm not actually printing this because I got a lot of them. All right, so then select slice. And let that do its job. So like I say, you can print this on the P1S. You can print it on the X1C. You can print it on the, the P2S. There's all kinds of build plates. Now the uh, X1C build plate... Um, is like 257 by 257 something like that and uh, you're gonna be able to print this on there or anything like that and if it's a smaller build plate than that guys you're just gonna want to go ahead and slice it up more and each time you slice it up I'd add connectors now most people now are running something at least as big as the X1C or P2S so as you can see guys at this point all your supports are in good position. They're all on build plate only. All the little uh, connectors are supported and it looks good. So we got that all ready for printing. All right, so that, the edges are smooth. Everything looks clean. You're gonna get a nice clean print and that's gonna be at a 0.2 layer, guys. And it's going to look awesome. The only thing you're going to have to think about is your top Z distance. And uh, everybody's got preference into that. Whether it's uh, on a 0 0.2, 0 0.25 and up. Whatever you think. Just experiment with what works for you and your environment. Remember to dry your filament. Alright, so next. Let's switch over to like a bigger build plate. So we're going to go with the uh, H2D. Just because it allows you to cover the H2D, H2C, H2S. And I would add the cab again. So I'll add a cab without the holes. Now this one is where I print most of the cabs. But I do do them in the X1C if I need to. All right, so you got your other cab. So here you go. Select the part, go up to rotate or press R on your keyboard, I believe. Yep, R on the keyboard, I believe. And then you're gonna wanna tilt it. So this one, I'd probably put it somewhere like that. That's how I'd do it. Just cause I print so many of these, I kinda got a technique to it. I'd select the part, go up to support painting again. Gotta move my mouse closer, keep shoving it away. All right, so I would unselect on over on overhangs only make sure you do that or it's not going to do anything you're going to uh, left oh i got this way too big just one second here i forgot to turn down my pen size don't forget to do that guys or you'll just do what i just did so then i would come along and i'd left click on my mouse on pen and i draw my support line all the way up it you know keep it on the rocker panel kind of thing or, you know, where you want it doesn't mean it's always going to be a rocker panel, but come along, paint the rocker panel, just a thin line along it, and go over here and do it again. Now, I always start from the bottom just because I have an easier time keeping a straight line going upward than down for some reason. I don't know why, just the way my body likes to work. Maybe you're different, maybe you got to steady your hand for doing these mouse painting jobs, I don't. So I do that right there, and that would be probably good. And then I would come in here, I'd turn my pen size back up to like half, and I'd probably put a stripe here. Maybe I'd put one in this corner, because remember guys, I'm always printing an ABS. That stuff has a tendency of warping, you want that anchored. So then I'd go there, and then I'd come around the back of the cab, and I'd put one here for sure. Probably put one here, and I'd probably put one here, just because it's going to be tilted back quite a bit. Now let's slice it. 
see what we got. A lot of times what I'll do, guys, too, because I'm not really worried about any waste. I'm worried about what the body's going to look like. I'll come along and paint a little lip along the top edge of these windows at times, too, but I only keep it on the inside. I don't try to do the outside because some of them window trims are quite thin, and you don't want to waste a print because you put the supports in a bad spot where it's stuck and ruined a part. I've done that in the past. You don't want to do it, but as long as your top Z distance is set right, you won't have any problems anyway. So we're at 75% here. We're almost done. I'm going to take a drink of water. This one should look pretty good. I think I got it in right the right spot. Yeah, all my spots that are important, you want that supported there along this whole top. Everything looks good. You got your little spot for the mirror supported. You got a hell of an anchor here. If you look, guys, this is what you want for ABS printing. Even PETG will warp. Anything will warp. So you want our anchor good. You want dry filament. If you look down here, you got a little support there. One there kind of holding the corner. And then you got your two down here holding the edge. And then you want that because when you start the print, you got to remember it's only going to be printing this part down here. And you want something just to anchor that right down. Another method you can do to kind of get it to stick better too, if you don't get any build glue even, you can turn up the heat a little bit. You can do that at your own discretion. I don't like making recommendations on that because if you mess your print up, you might be upset with me. All right, so you can see your edges look good. It might look a little bit tiny rough right there, but it looks clean. That's going to come out perfect, guys. And all along here, along the sides, everything's going to look clean because there's no layer line this way. Now, if you do it that way, it would put great big circles here. As you can see, you've probably tried it before. These layer lines are going to be clean. If you got more time on your hands, maybe print it in an even lower layer height. But I always use 0.2 on bodies, guys. So that thing is ready to print. So there's your two methods, guys. This one over here is what I would do if I was using for the X1C. And this one's what I'd do in the H-Series stuff. So keep that in mind, guys. And uh, go ahead and jump over to my Facebook and follow and my Instagram and follow. And subscribe to the YouTube channel here, guys, for more videos. I'll do some more uh, tutorials soon. I didn't realize people were struggling with uh, certain things like this or else I would have done videos sooner. So if you have any questions, go ahead, shoot them here on the video. Um, if you're on my social media pages, go ahead, comment there because I really pay attention to what you guys want to see, guys. I know it's fun to watch videos of RCs and that all the time, but it's nice to know what you're doing so you can make your own as well. All right, guys, thanks for watching.